So it's been a while, but we're finally back. What's up, guys? And welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour 2023. I remember playing the Tiger Woods PGA Tour games back in the day. And uh, honestly, I had no idea. They haven't released an EA Sports golf game in like eight years. The last one was uh, 2015 Rory McIlroy's game. So um, excited to check this out. It looks beautiful. I've been watching the trailers and stuff leading up to launch. Uh, curious to see how it plays and how it compares to... Um, uh, 2k23 we played that in the channel a little bit last year and um yeah man i don't know it's gonna be fun i'm actually kind of getting into go i mean who's who's not getting into golf these days I'm, I'm starting to play a little bit got my first set of clubs so um i don't expect any Welcome sort of EA Sports, expertise PGA here Tour golf. i'm sir nick and this is the road to the masters sir nick hello nice to meet you and uh, we're just gonna hop straight into this so i've already played a little bit so it, it's interesting there's already I, I found something that i honestly really don't like but um take a look at our our player first here this is trevor martin he's got a gorgeous mustache that i couldn't even dream of growing but um one thing i am kind of excited about is it's it's got some rpg elements in the career mode so as you play you unlock skill points and then you can go through and you can apply those to power driving approach short game and putting now obviously as you level these up your player gets better and you improve your stats you're going to be able to like hit the ball farther here but you also unlock new shot types so like this is the bronze power approach powerful shot that goes farther than approach but brings a large random miss hit circle into play you've got silver power approach you've got gold and it you know it, it kind of goes through everything on putting you've got a texas wedge which is kind of funny uh on approach shots you can have knockdowns finesse shots pick shots for your bunkers things like that so um you know I, obviously you're trying to level up the the numbers the numerical stats on your player but you also unlock new different types of shots you can use for certain scenarios now i did say that i played a little bit and honestly i'm not super stoked here in the career settings you've only got two different options for the way you play through events you've got full or you've got quick and uh, full you're literally playing the entire event weekend you're playing four rounds of 18 holes on the same course which is cool if you're going for like mega simulation but that's just a lot of golf and you've got i think 32 weeks in the season it would take forever to get through so i started the first season as quick and it, it, it like you only play a couple of holes of each tournament so it then it like it doesn't even make sense because you're not getting to see the entire course i feel like they need an option that lets you play 18 holes but a one like round championship you don't play all four rounds and unfortunately they don't have that i know 2k23 did so here in season two we're going to be playing full but i'm only going to play one round on each course i just i don't have the time to do all of that i don't really want to do all of that now i accidentally started up the first or skipped the first one or something like that looks like we withdrew from it actually so we're tied for 76th in the fedex cup we're gonna have to improve we're gonna be starting off here in week two at tory Pines. A lot of exciting courses on here, man. We've got Pebble Beach, the Waste Management Open. We've got Arnold Palmer. Uh, the Masters is coming up, playing this weekend, if you guys are going to be watching that. But uh, yeah, here we go. Week two of our career. Going to be starting from the back. But we're going to make it work, baby. Going to have some beautiful views from, where is it, San Diego, I think? Torrey Pines? EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From a stunning setting, Torrey Pines Golf Course in Southern California, it's opening round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. Got a three o'clock tee time. Situated high on the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean. What a golf course, Torrey Pines, and what a weekend we should have in store as we look at the leaderboard here in round one. All We've right. got a tie at the very top at four under to this point. Meanwhile, our before under kind of feels like we might be able to, to a hot start and maybe make an early move up the AM leaderboard. Make a move here. All right, here we go. So we're going to be starting off with our driver. It's like we got a nice and, and skinny fairway, three mile an hour wind right to left. So we're going to aim a little bit to the right of the fairway. Let's step up to it and let's get after it, baby. The good news is a bit of a slow swing there, but looking pretty good on our power. The good news is, is, is since this is season two and I already kind of Always like nice to get started it, one out I didn't like how quick it was. It's going to be a good one to get this tournament started. Kind of have a bit of a feel for it. We're playing on, on pro course, difficulty. Let's check in with we don't have putt previews on. 
142 yards left. So we can get tougher, hole. but we're actually the playing pretty tough. In the front right part of the green. So I was talking about those shot types with our our current setup and the way I deployed our points. We've got this finesse shot with our nine iron. You can see the approach shot on the nine is just too far, but the finesse is going to allow us to reduce the you know. Uh, power a little bit on it. We've got that wind. It's not going to affect us all that much. I'm thinking we place it somewhere around here. We can also adjust where we want to put the ball. I'm going to say let's go high so we have a little bit less roll. We're going to come down this hill accounting for the winds. I'm feeling like this is a pretty good spot right here. So let's, let's step up to it. I really like their swing meter. So if you pull straight back, you kind of follow the, the path of the club here and then the, the club head is pretty much your marker. So we want to go back and then swing about there. Little heavy on the power, little overswing, but we're looking pretty good here. Love to see that. All right, looking. Eight or nine feet. I don't know that bad, but it is a great approach shot. Looking at a birdie off the bat. This these are anything but gimmies. For birdie. A little bit uphill. We're going to back this up. I'm not using putt previews. We don't even have it active. I wanted to make make sure this was a challenge. I mean, it's not a very hard left to right, but you I feel like you always underestimate that. Let's see. I think we need a little bit more power. Maybe a little left. Let's see how this is looking. Oh! No! Okay, we over, overestimated it. I called it. Or anti called it, I guess you could say. This should be an easy little tap in here. Nothing crazy. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And he'll stay at level par on par. the first one. Not upset about it. Probably could have stolen a birdie there, but we're going to be fine. Well, the second hole here at Torrey Pine South is by no means long, but by the same token, it's not easy. This is strategic play, certainly off the tee. This is a tough course, dude. Position. Get a good angle at that whole location. All right. The question is, is how aggressive do we want to get here? Obviously, wind at our back. I, I think we, we aim left here. I think we try to, to get this down that, down that hill. And the thing is, 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 you know, obviously you want to try to aim. That, that will get you a perfect swing if you hit that mark up there. But you can overswing it. You can go all the way back and all the way forward. Get a little bit of extra power on there. Let's see where that ends up. I'm hoping to get it down this hill, be able to roll down. Yeah, yes, the sir. There it is. Big drive to really get you down there, and that is a big one here at two. 273-yard carry, 318 yards total. We'll take a little roll there. Love to see it. Ka so after Got that him. bomb of a drive, this is second to the par four. Okay. So we got that four mile on our win. We don't want to forget about that. Uh, how much is that going to affect us, though, is the question. Maybe something like that. Here we go. Don't want to overdo it. Little under on our power. Shh. Oh, 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 no. Way too far under on our power. We're going to roll back down. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping the wind was going to carry it a bit more than that. We're on the green. It's okay. Ultimately, not a real good shot. Try to get this close to the hole if we can. Looks like we got a, a bit of an uphill, so we're definitely going to want to aim past it. And there's definitely a strong left to right. Might need a little more, a little more power than that too. Maybe something like this. I honestly, it is really hard to tell. It's really hard to judge without the the preview lines. See how that does. Didn't get it up the hill, dude. That is a steep no green way. right there. All right, we're looking like we might. 20 feet short. 20 feet short. Good okay. 20 footer here. More left to right. Holy cow. We messed that up, man. We're good. Get it to the hole, Trev. Come on. Oh, oh if God, that would have went, that could have been big. Okay. Target. We're all right. I didn't realize just how steep that green was right there. This it, honestly is anything but a gimme. We should be fine. Here we go. Right down the pipe. All right. Able to save bogey there. 
I mean, can you save Bogey? I, I was a little bit worried we might have something worse than that, but we, we need to turn this up, Trev. Let's go. Pacific in the distance. We move ahead to the picturesque 201 yard par three third. Club selection can range from a nine iron to a hybrid depending on conditions. And you definitely don't want to be long here. Wow. Okay. This, this is a hole and a half here. We've got that wind. Oh boy. I don't think the wind's going to affect us all that much though. The biggest thing here is going to be making sure that you don't overpower this. We want to, we want to stop it literally right there. That's decent curve into the right. I don't know how we ended up overshooting okay, it that much. The green off the tee is half the battle here at the third, though. That will leave a long okay. one coming up. Long one going on downhill. Left to right. I think the idea here is just to get it inside sort of a three-foot circle. We got a pretty heavy left to right. How do, can we, like, kind of see? I mean, that's a pretty heavy left to right there. Okay, um... Going downhill, we're gonna to want to underpower this and just kind of, kind of ride the wave a little bit. Let's see how this goes. Oh, way too much speed on that thing, dude. This, this game's hard. This game is very hard. We way overshot that. That's not where we want to be. We're going uphill here, a little bit to the right, a little bit uphill. Not, not a whole lot. I mean, there's, there's some. A little to the right. Here we go. 17 foot putt for par. Underpowered. You dummy. You dummy. You you had the line up there. You had it. Okay. That's that's gonna take us to uh to two over. Unfortunately, we're gonna step our game up. It's fine. That this is our first full round. The third. Let's just. That's gonna move him back to two over par. Let's just try to try to you know get things under control here. We're gonna be fine. Here we it's are okay. Now at the 490 yard par four fourth, the second longest of the challenging par fours here at Torrey Pines. A good tee shot is essential. And the par is a good score. Par is a good score, they say. Well, you know what? I'm birdie in this. Watch. Trust me, baby. Here we go. All right. Driver off the rip. Two mile an hour headwinds. A little bit left to right. Gonna be fine. Here we go. Let's just, let's full send on the swing. 2.2% overswing. That's fine. Still going to be able to find that fairway. Honestly, driving, easiest Beautiful thing in this game without a doubt. Swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. One of the things I struggle with most in real life, but this game, very, very easy. Here Second we go. Second shot. Good look at the green. Second shot. We've got a three-man hour win in our face. Got an eight iron here. I kind of think we might want to club down. Maybe not. Maybe we... Hmm... I definitely think we're going to want to club down. Let's go with the nine iron. That wind, though. We could shoot it low. No, I don't want to do that. What if we... What about an eight iron finesse? That's what... Oh, sev seven iron finesse shot. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Seven iron finesse. Got a right to left. I'm worried about the wind, but we also have this right to left. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it here. Test our power here. Don't want to overdo this one. That's good. That looks pretty good. A little fast on our follow through. How much is it going to roll? Not as much as I would have liked, but I wanted to make sure we didn't go off the backside and there. So 20 shot, Just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish. 20 still. feet to the hole. Not bad. Now this for birdie. Little uphill. The players have an option to take less break right by left. increasing the speed here. I'm gonna go with something like that. Here we go. Get your mark, Trev. Good read. Honestly, yeah, a bit more uphill than we thought. Little more, but These greens are tough, but it's fine. Anymore. You know what? They said par is a, a, a good, you know, a good one on this hole. That might be a little overpowered, Trev. What's under it? There it is. Okay, that one. Par's a good off. score there. We're okay. Couple of bogeys, but we're gonna be able to bring this back. There's a lot of golf left to play.
I mean, four under is, is the this best so far. Tory Pine South That's measures, the leader, so we're... 54 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The we're going to be okay. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, and you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. Let's pipe this. Get out of here with the birdie, he said. Well, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Come on. Get a nice little roll there. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that green. The right side, which Tees a little bit closer to the right side. A little tighter because the hole is cut middle right today. Bunkers. We're going to have to go right over. Down the middle, but it wasn't bad at all. Coming at this second shot from the right side of the fairway. I'm going to say 50 degree wedge. This thing's going to roll out. It's going to carry a little bit in the wind. It's going to roll right to left. Try to put it somewhere around here, maybe. Test a little backswing. We need more than that. That looks pretty good. Good chance at one. Oh, stop. Settle, 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 settle. We'll take it. 11 That's feet. A good shot. And six inch. A green in regulation. So, birdie chance. Putt. Little bit There's uphill. 12 footer here. Quite a bit of left to right. I think deceiving amount. Huts are so tough. No. Little heavy on the power. That could have been it. I mean, we're we're gonna get the putting down. It's fine. This is a, a straight putt right here, just right at the cup. Nice and easy. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. We really like a par, huh? We got a par five coming up. Let's see. Let, this this is our birdie. Our birdie here. Come on. We got this. Two over. Right, so you've made We're going to be able to some of those turn this around. Par fours, and now you get a chance to lick your chops at this par five. The sixth is 564 yards with a good tee shot. You'll have a chance of getting home in two and maybe making a three. Okay. Let's see if we can make an eagle. Let's get back to even. Here we go. Get a good tee shot. Good, good drive there. A little bit slow on the swing, but as long as we end up in the fairway, I mean, it. Well, you could you just can't walk out and drop it any better than that. You could that just do that every time; it'd be great. Right there. Even with a bad swing, we still end up right in the middle of the fairway. I love it. All right, this this is huge here. If we can end up getting back to two under, or not not two, I mean, if we can lose two strokes here and back to even, that would be massive. So we've got our three wood here. Oh man. We've got a bit of wind. Obviously, don't want to aim here. It's going to roll way too far. I'm thinking we probably... We could finesse shot it. I don't think we want to do that, though. I'm going to go approach. We want to aim a bit short. And we want to kind of bounce it up on there, I think. Let's see, see how this one goes. We don't want to overpower it. We don't want to underpower it. Swing right there. Oh... That was actually kind of perfect, but it's going straight for the trap. I don't know what I did wrong, but now we're going to have to get out of the bunker. Two solid shots at the par five and found the green side bunker. I didn't think the good. wind was going to affect it yeah. that much there. Just I don't know. That was a good bunker shot. That was interesting. Okay. So we got a right to left here. Not really going uphill. It is going to roll some though. I mean, we could, we could go a little high so it doesn't roll quite as much, hopefully. Maybe go for something like this. Here we go. Need a good out here. Doesn't seem bad. That's going to set us up for a good look at birdie. Four okay, foot birdie putt. And that's it's not a gimme. For birdie. It's uphill and a little bit right to left. So we're going to put a little extra gas on it. Aim a little bit right, but it shouldn't move all that much let's go okay, nicely played that's in for birdie here chip six. it away chip it away baby we'll take it i mean the leader's four under we we can we can come back here now a tough hole here a winding part for it 462 yards it is the number one handicap hole on the south course and for good reason an approach shot from anything other than the fairway is fraught with peril with a canyon beyond and a deep right front bunker guarding an angle. Dude, this course is difficult insane. to hit green. I've heard of this course many, many times. I, I've never like seen it or watched it on TV or anything. Four mile hour win, right to left. We're gonna aim a little bit right. Let's just pipe this thing as hard as we can. Uh this 
I mean, you've got canyons behind the green. Like, you've got to be perfect here. That was a pretty good drive, too. Another good drive down, Roll the, it right down the side hill. of the fairway. If you look at the screen up ahead with that flag cut middle left, this is certainly one you can have a go at. Okay. Got a good look Second here. shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. We've got 137 left to the flag. Pin on the left portion of this green, so it will favor a wee draw. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much this is going to roll. Do we want to club down? I feel like we want to club down. We've got the wind, but then we've also got the the green is kind of going right to left. I think we want to club down and use this 50 degree. Ah, I don't know. I mean, pitching wedge isn't going to move all that much. I think the, we need to be more concerned about the wind than anything else. I'm going to go... I'm going to go for something like this. We got to get our power right here. That was actually perfect. Pretty good. Little underpowered. Honestly, under is better than over. Wind did not carry it as much as I thought it would. Okay, we'll take it. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish. Probably could have been a bit more aggressive there. I was worried about it rolling this off the back side of the green. Some pace back up the hill. Holy We're cow, dude. We're going up the hill, but we don't want to go up and over. We've got a right to left. It's not much, though. A little bit closer to the pin, but not a whole lot. Definitely don't want to end up leaving it short, but don't want to go way past the hole and end up off the back side of the green here. Needed a bit more power than nope, that, though, Trev. You were more under more. where you aimed. We're fine. Left to right, uphill. Aim back here. Can we please put this in? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. All right. I actually feel like both of those were pretty well targeted. We just weren't... We didn't hit the line on our putter. The... the power line we were looking for but hey we're still in the hunt we here now at the second part three on the front side the uphill 177 yard a critical to avoid the large front wow. bunker and get your shot to the right level of this two-tiered green dude look at the there's there's just so much there there's so many things you've got to work around here we've got our seven iron we've got a two-tiered green so we want to get all the way up top we've got a four mile hour win so it's going to carry some a little bit right to left. I'm gonna aim. I mean, I dude, I don't I don't even know. This is so tough. I, I have no idea. Let's see where our power is. Too hard. Ended up just about perfect though. You gotta love how that works out. Wipe the sweat off. Come on, let's get back to even trip. Oh, a little bit uphill. Left. Right to left, but how much is that going to affect it in six feet? I kind of feel like maybe something like this. Maybe a little bit more. Come on. God! Oh, I say he should have made that. That's okay, painful. That I don't want to talk about it. Eight. Don't talk to me. And he'll remain right where he is. <sighs> Got a four mile an hour wind to our back, so we might. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to reach it in two. But a man can dream. See where this ends up? Kind of a little bit to the right side of the, the fairway here. It's going to roll right. Stay, 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 stay. Shoot, we're in the first cut. I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it's not exactly what you want. We're going to be fine. Got the three wood here. Four mile an hour winds. I'm going to try to shoot the bunker here. We're going to overpower it too. Let's go. Oh, that looks good. Little bit right. Bounce up. Nope. Mm, we're okay. We're fine. We're going to be fine. We, we, can, we can chip out of this. We're good. Whew. This is where it gets a little sketch though. I mean, this is going to roll pretty heavy. We can't chip shot. Oh, we can flop shot it. Do we want a flop shot here? I'm going to go for a flop shot. A little bit right to left. I mean, flop isn't going to roll much at all, right? If we go for something like this. Oh, but we're... So we're hitting the balls underneath us, so it's going to tend to go a little bit right, I think. 
I just learned this when I played the other day. It was like my third round of golf ever. It's gonna it's gonna want to kind of tend to go a little bit right. So we're gonna aim right, or aim left. I mean, we'll see if this ends up working out for us. Let's test our backstroke. Little heavy. Oh, it went way right. And we didn't have enough Just power on it. You, you need to. You need to. The ball and the club face. That's my it's fault. Always going to come up short out of that sort of light. We needed to put extra power on it too, because yeah, that's that's a hundred percent my fault. We might be able to get something done here though. Let's go ahead and ship this. It's going to have a little bit of a right to left. Honestly, probably even less power. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. Just to tap in. It really could have, but we're going to take a, a par there. We're going to end up one over through 37, the front over par. I'm not upset about it, though. I, I, I'm feeling fairly confident. I think we can. You'll have a chance. If, again, and we, we keep repeating this theme at Torrey Pines, if you hit a good tee shot, then good tee shot. you can attack. Okay. Well, we're good at our tee shots. We're, we're learning here. You know, we're, 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 we're working, working through it. Ooh, this is dangerous. I don't want to end up in any of that nonsense. I'm going to hope. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, mm, we probably don't want to way overpower it, but you, you, oh, that's right. That's going in that right bunker. Maybe not. Stop, stop, steady, steady, steady. Okay, we're good. That is into the fairway. We're good. Slow down, slow down. Not bad. Could have been worse, but not bad. Second it is a, a up. Let's check bit of that lie, though, where it's underneath our feet. The third. So we're going to want a little extra power. Yards left. Standing on the wrong side of par right now, looking to get back to even. We're going to want a little extra power. We're going to want to aim a little bit left. We also have the wind pushing left, though. Hmm. And the wind behind us. I don't know how much extra power we need. I'm just going to go for something like this. Let's, let's just hope for the best. Way overpowered. We'll see. I mean, we're going to be on the green, but we're not going to be looking at a birdie. Not bad. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. We'll take it right in the middle of the green. This Can't be upset with that. Ooh. Hard to his left. Downhill, Fuller. right to left. Definitely going to slow this down. Don't want to go way past the hole. Maybe aim somewhere around here. See how we do. Underpowered, Trev. You've got a bad habit of that, my man. You've done that a lot. You're, you're aiming in good spots. You're reading the greens well-ish, but then you're not following through. Uphill, left to right. This is a tough one. There it is. We'll take that. We're starting to get a little bit better at the putting. Saving a par there is huge. I feel like that was a moment where we could have gone off the wagon. It, it could have it could have gotten ugly pretty quick right there. Hole here at Torrey Pines, Long par three downhill par three, measuring 225 yards. But don't be fooled by that number. This hole often plays longer because of the wind. That's a tough hole location too. This is a nightmare. The, the, I don't even know what to do here. We're in the the very back right. We've got a three mile an hour wind right to left. We definitely don't want this three wood. We're gonna we're gonna club down three iron maybe. Oh boy. Um, if you want me to be honest, I I think I think we just I think we put it somewhere like this. I think we played a little bit safe. I don't think we try to overdo it. I don't think we try to be a hero. I think we try to just get it on the green, get it get it close. Don't overpower this swing here, Trev. Something like that. That feels good. Something nice and easy. Ooh, that's flow. Oh, 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 slow down. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did that even happen? 
Ah, uh, that one needed to put on the brakes, but could not. And this will wind up over the green. Is it because we were we were so high up? Or was it the elevation I didn't take into consideration? All right, ball's above our feet. We're going to have to aim right. We're going to want to underpower it, but we're going to make sure we get up over this crest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at something like that. I can't even see my, my swing. I'm just going to take a guess at it. Oh. I mean, that's not bad. That's a good out right there. We'll take it. I think that's because we were so high up. I don't think it takes the elevation into consideration on your, your shots. Left. Downhill, tiny bit of right to left. Not much at all. Not really even worth uh, taking a look at here. Should be able to sink okay. that. No problem. Well, we'll take it. Done. All right. So far here at 11. Able to stay and even. Stay at one over. I was not expecting to way overshoot it like that. Oof. Up Got somebody at 500 now. Five yard, par 412, the Torrey Pines. You can be aggressive off the tee here, and you should be, because if you do not hit a good drive, you're not going to get it home in two. Okay. We can get it on the green in two. I would love, dude, let's get, let's get a birdie here. Come on. Two Monar win. We're just going to stripe it right down the middle as much power as we could possibly get. A little bit slow on our swing but that should hopefully yeah, just what you want at this point in the round the trying to find a rhythm hit fairways hit the middle of the club face that's what they did right there look at now, this whole location the ocean this is second at 12. looks pretty even we got a form on our headwind so we're going to want to aim past it a bit i don't know how much though i'm going to look for something like this i think all right don't overdo it, Trev. That would have overdone it right there. That's pretty good. I mean, overshot it a little bit, but it's fine. We aren't well, upset with that. Good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. Pretty much right at the hole, maybe a little bit right. Let's bump it up there and let her run. Maybe something like this. Here we go. Too hard. Oh, oh we I got it, it though. That's a birdie. Excellent get from behind the green, and that one goes yes, down. Yes, that feels what good. Unlikely. Oh, birdie. dude, this game. It, it. This is so much harder than it works. Than it looks. Moving now to the massive. Harder than it works. That too. It, whatever you want to say. 13. It's tough. It, I'm, You'll need a drive of 240 yards plus. I'm trying really hard. that canyon, and if you go for the green in two. The second shot has to carry 260 yards or so. Look at that dip there. Like, I, I just, I don't even know how to approach some of these. You've got to be so creative with your shots. All right, we're going to be able to carry over the canyon for sure. I'm going to aim a little bit to the left. Let's just do what we do here. Rip this thing. Perfect swing, 2.1% over swing. Trying to get as much distance as possible. A little that one hop to the right. Split the middle, maybe get a little roll out as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. We'll take it. Now, a now. from well over 300 yards, this will be about positioning. Dude, this is, this feels borderline impossible. I'm gonna aim a little bit left due to that wind. This just feels so difficult. A little bit slow on our swing. Wind should keep us on us. Bounce back right. We're going to be in the first cut. That's not bad. We'll take it. Good second shot. That last bounce. A little unlucky. But still, that third shot sits up rather nicely into this par five. Now, this is tough. I don't think the wind's going to affect it that much. But, dude, look, look at what we're working with here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Want to make sure we get it up over this crest. So I'm going to aim kind of in here. All right. Let's get our power right here, Trev. Get our power right. That's... Oh! And that won't quite get there. It's into the uppermost bunker on the right side. We're fine. Frank, what's the best way to play this bunker shot? Well, this fourth shot here, Rich, it's got to get that ball first. That lip in front of him. Make sure you carry that. 
Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. Stop. We should be able to save a par out of that. Oh, the hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Uphill, left to right. Not going to affect it much, I don't think. Let's make sure we have enough power on that that hill. <laughs> Almost underpowered it, but we're good. Okay, we're one under on the back nine. Even par. Let's see if we can take a couple more strokes off. Let's focus up, Trev. Ah, we're down to six under. 437 yard par four, 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. Just stay away so from the canyon. Should be nice and easy. Seven yard par four, 14th. That canyon that you can see running along the left side is, is pretty to look at, but obviously you want to stay away from there because you can make a big number if you hit your tee shot down there. Big T sh shot here. E going to be able to stay in the first cut. Okay, we actually, that was almost our first. Now it's in the first cut. There's always a little bit more grass around the ball that has to be factored in. Second almost shot uh, Let's bring missed in. our first fairway Steve. there, but we're fine. Okay. 24 left to the flag stick. Pin front left so he can take dead aim. It's got a good lie. I mean, it's going to slow it down a little bit, right? You not get as much distance out of the, the first cut. We do have that wind, though. So I'm going to say, hmm, do we want a pitching wedge? Like a finesse shot pitching wedge and aim for something like this. Because that, that wind is going to be up in our face. Maybe a little bit more. Let's try this. Here we go. Test our backswing. Little heavy on it there, but we'll... Oh. Oh. What is this? What is this? Oh, stop it. Don't tell me we dunked it. Oh, my God, bro. What? Straight at it. And it so easily could have gone in. That is the coolest thing I think I've seen in a golf game. That was amazing. All right, let's just go ahead and tap this in there, bud. What? It there. It's a birdie at 14. What was... Uh, okay, I, that was a good a good choice there, Trev. Not going to lie. Anytime the, the slow-mo comes on, that's usually a good next, sign. A par four at 480 yards. Not a whole lot to it. A tee shot of the fairway should leave you with a reasonable approach into a green with bunkers left and right. It's like a hittable green here. Let's see what we can do. So that's going to bring us down to one under. Feels good. We're starting to pick it up here in this, the second half of our, our play. Let's just go ahead and put this thing right down the middle. The perfect swing speed there. Dude, the swing speed, it's fast. You, you got to really flick the controller up. I don't really that anticipate just how fast just it is. 183 yards to the hole. Feels good. He's, he's on a bit of a heater here. He's liking it. Two mile an hour wind, hole location in the very back. Even lie right in the middle of the fairway here. Hmm. Definitely gonna want to club down here. Hmm, this is tough. Because the, the winds. But we want to end up on the right. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't think we can hit this area back here. Ideally, you have it land, like, basically in between those two, like, land in this spot. But I just don't think that's going to happen. I think we kind of play it a little bit safe. And aim, like, here. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, going to be able to make it over the sand trap. Even if we have to overpower it a little bit. I actually really like that. I, I was hoping we were going to get a, a slow-mo. Ooh, that did not go as far as I thought it was going to, and we are not going to make it up to the top side of the green. That is not what we wanted. That is not how we wanted to follow up one of the best holes that we've, we've well, played. Not as close to the pin as you'd like, but when you find greens in regulation on a regular basis, you're going to have a chance. Got a little bit of a right to left, but unfortunately, ooh, a little left to right to start, but there's definitely more right to left up top. We are going to need some power on this thing. That is a, a fairly large hill we want to get up. And we just want to make sure we get there. Let's try this. Get it up the hill. 
Oh, we still needed more power than oh, that. that. Runs out of gas far too early. That is not where you want to leave the golf ball. Oh no, dude. I mean, this, I think a little bit left. This is tough. Ah, oh, we actually had a pretty good line there. Mm, hang on. All right, that's... That's going to leave about three feet. Unfortunately, that's going to be a... Uh, at least a bogey, if not worse. Let's finish this strong. Okay. Ah, uh, good putt there. It's a bogey five. Ah, oh, I want that one back, it. dude. That's going to bring you us back to even. I was feeling good. Too even par. We're 35th. I, I think so for our first one, it's not bad. You got to give me a little bit of time to figure 16, things out. 227 yards, good hole with those three bunkers protecting the green. There is got that a par slight three opening here. in the front. It would take an outstanding shot to give yourself a chance to make a birdie. So this is kind of like that one we overshot earlier. We, we've got a bit of a, a height advantage on it, so we're definitely going to want to club down in a big way here. I'm thinking... I mean, the, the wind is left to right. I'm thinking we probably want to club down to a four iron. Left to right. We're going to be going right to left. I'm just going to try to put this on the green, to be honest. I, I, I would be happy if it ends up on the green. So let's just go with something like this. Practice our, uh, our speed here. Over hit it a little bit. Come on, catch it, wind. Catch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We did not want to over hit that. Slow, 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 slow. We're gonna be right on the edge. That's fine. That just came out blazing. We're okay. As as it hit the green. It was never gonna stop. I honestly really kind of like this. These greens are fairly quick, and we're going downhill, so we're not gonna want to do too much in terms of uh, power. Got a little bit of left to right, but then a decent amount of right to left. I'm thinking something, something about here. Maybe a little less power. There we go. Don't overpower it, Trev. You underpowered it, and it went in. That's what I'm talking about. I think we need a little bit more touch. Okay, I was nervous with the bogey, but to bring it back to a birdie afterwards is good. Let's finish strong here. Three-yard par four. Louis Oosthuizen hit it left here at the 2021 U.S. Open in the final round. That was a great chip. He paid the price. He did not win that major. I don't like the look of this green. There's two bunkers out front. That makes me a little bit nervous, but we're going to see what we can do. It's a par four. Four mile an hour win. Aim a little bit left, and let's... Ab oh, that's going way left. What was that? What happened? Why? 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 Uh, trying to gather some momentum after the birdie, but that won't help. It's into the bunker off the tee. I don't understand why that just happened. So we're going to want extra distance here. Four mile an hour wind. Left to right. I'm going to go for something like that. Or, or, I don't know how much the sand is going to affect our distance. I'm going to go for some. Uh, gosh. See how that goes. Carry, carry, carry. Oh, we needed more distance. We're fine. We're going to be able to chip this up and then we can save a par. This problem and now if we can save a par, I'm happy. We've got the spray can out at the moment. Little right to left. It's going to roll. I, I'm going to do a flop shot, I think. It's going to tend to go right, so we want to aim left, and I think we want a little bit more power. I'm going to go for something like this. See how it goes. Oh! Okay. That's what you like to see, and now we should, no problem, be able to be able to save this no part. Holy cow! On to the final hole. And he'll remain one under. Can one he under make ball. it two under to finish things off? What's 18 look like this here? 18th hole is not overly long. 570 yards of par five, and it's straight. Par five. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. I'm but gonna pond in right fairway, in front of it, man. Come on. We've stayed dry all day. I'm not getting the towels out now. With an eagle. 
Three mana hour win. Let's just, let's stripe this right down the middle as we have been doing. I don't, it's starting to kind of curve a little bit right and left. I don't love that. This one should stay fair. Stay fair, he says. Dirk Dingers. He can swing a bat and a club. Right in the fairway. That's where we want to see it. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. What do we want to do here? Do you want to lay up? Do you want to play aggressive? I don't think it's really worth playing too aggressive, asking to split the gap there. I just don't think that's smart. I think we're going to go three iron. And we're just going to go, we're going to lay it up. We're going to play smart golf here. Not everything has to go for the, the biscuit. Oh gosh, get out of the rough. We can still make birdie here. All right, so in the rough, we're going to want a little bit... Uh, how's our lie? It's going to go a little bit left, and it's above us, which means I think we get a little bit more out of it, but then you're also in the rough, so I'm just going to say distance is about right. Four mile on our headwind, so we're going to want a little bit more distance. And again, it's, it's going to want to go left, so we're going to aim right. Maybe a little bit more. Let's see how this goes. I like it. Let's make sure we don't overpower it, though. See how that goes? It looks pretty good to me. Little shorts, and we are rolling down the green. Our hope? We underswung there. That was the, the problem. Well, I think everything else was lined up now well. For birdie. We're going to want to go past it. Say it's the toughest putt in golf. By a decent There's amount. A lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. There's no way you can take dead aim here. A little bit left. Here we go. See how this goes. Get it up that hill. Dude, the when we're putting no, uphill, it's it's it, it consistently more than you think you need to. Right about nine feet here. A little bit left to right. We want a little bit of extra distance. Let's finish this strong. Uh maybe a little bit more left. Sticker in there. Got him! Okay. Able to par it out. We're gonna end up one under at Tory. Pines. A one under opening round of 71. That puts us in 23rd. I love that. All right, so again, we talked about this at the start. Unfortunately, that is round one. So technically, to finish this tournament, we would have to play three more, which is just not going to happen. I'm not going to keep playing the same thing over and over and over again. So I think what we're going to do, I wonder how it works. If we skip event, skip ahead in the season, let's see where it ends up putting us. It says that we withdrew. That's fine. I'm not. I, hopefully, they add an update where you're able to play a one-round championship. It just it, there's no way I, I can I can play four championships every time. So I, we're just gonna go through. We're gonna have fun with it. We're gonna see where we can end up. So 23rd there to start is pretty good. We got Pebble Beach coming up next. The Waste Management Phoenix Open after that. That's gonna be exciting, and uh, we're gonna keep going through if you guys want more. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.